hi everyone welcome back in this video i will share with you how to give open plc opc capability by the use of the cap server software we will be using the diy esp8266 plc board for this demonstration let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you will always be notified whenever i upload new videos So what exactly is OPC? OPC stands for Open Platform Communication, a technical standard that enables secure data exchange between devices, control systems, and applications. So what exactly does OPC do? OPC is an interoperability standard that allows devices from different vendors to exchange information. It's used in industrial automation and other areas such as building automation and discrete manufacturing opc is designed to be platform independent so that devices can communicate with each other regardless of the vendor okay so to start with we would design a circuit or let's say a logic that we would download onto our ESP board to demonstrate how we will be able to exchange or convert our signal from the ESP into an OPC compatible signals okay so we have our project already created we have created a few variables so we have seven discrete variables that's our output and remember the addresses are output addresses because we will be exchanging data within the mod bus and then also we have some word variables also created and then we have some timers and counters okay to resize it and then we move on this is our secretary we have an on off timer or let's say on delay timer and an off delay timer and this timer is to generate pauses and this pause will be turning relay for on and off within 1000 milliseconds okay this process that is being generated by these two timers will be counted using this counter and then we can see that the count up signal we have connected the relay 4 to it and then we have a max or let's say the pv of the counter that we've connected a variable count max to it and then we have the output of the counter that we'll use to measure what signal or let's say the output of the, of the counter okay so we have command relay one that will turn relay one on command relay two that will turn relay two on as well now let's move on and download this program click on the compile and download okay now we have our board selected which is the ESP mini and then the port selected com4 these are the ios they are still the same and then we check our communication yes with the mod bus configured and these are the parameters of the mod bus you need to configure it to suit your own and then you click on save you go back to transfer and now i can click on the transfer to plc we can see transfer is ongoing Great, the transfer is done and we can see that relay 4 is blinking. Okay, we will now test our software using the Modbus tester. Okay, so I click on connect so that we can connect to the ESP board. I go to the settings and then use the TCP. Modbus TCP you need to configure with the IP address and then the port which is 502 and make sure you select TCP Modbus okay I click and then click on connect and then we see that it's connected I click on new and we can see that the bits that is turning on and off we can also see it within the Modbus tester I switch to 
the input register and then I, I switch to the holding register too as well and we can see the values there okay I come to the reset bit and then turn it on to reset the counter and then I go back to observe the input register we can see it's zero and then I come back and then disable the reset bit turn it off and then when I go back to the input register we can see that it's now counting up and immediately it's five we can see the relay coming on now we need to connect to the cap web server so that we can configure our OPC to do this we have the projects and then within the project I click on the com connectivity and now look for the protocol which is the modbus TCP and then I need to give it a name ESP OPC1 and I click on next next again next okay great so it's done now we need to click on it and add a device this is the device name we leave it as such and now we need to specify our IP in my case 192.168.8.198 click on next 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 okay great it's also done and then now we need to add our tags so we need to compare the tag to our open PLC editor so our first tag is our relay one the type is going to be the modbus address and remember calls we'll start from 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, and 1 so I have 0, 0, 0, 0001 and then the data type is a boolean I can now copy and paste and then change the addresses only I do same for all for relays okay great I now move to the input signal and this is going to be our command underscore relay one and then remember it's also continue with the address so this address is going to be five okay and now copy and then paste again and then change this one to six and then we need to now change this one which is our reset also to seven all our call signals are done we now move on and add our variable so this is our count variable and this is a read variable that is going to be our input integer starting from three 30,000 okay and now I add the holding register and this we shift and this is going to be 4,000 and 2 because our address is 2 okay great so we can see all our attacks are ready I click on the runtime And now click on the connect I say yes and then yes again I select no and now give it a name remember this name has to match the name that you created at the top as well yes ESP OPC one okay great and I'll click on the quick OPC client and then go to device and we can see our signal here let me position it correctly and now bring our modbus simulator the modbus uh, master simulator and now we can see our board flashing and now click on the connect on the modbus simulator and now we can see the bits flipping and we can see it's also flashing here as well and now go to the reset bits and then set it okay we can see the reset value or the count value has moved to zero 
I bring it to logic zero and then we can see that started counting which is working perfectly and now go to the input register and we can see the value there as well great I switch back to the holding register and we can see the set point value let's change it from 5 to 10 click update and we can see it has changed as well at the quick modbus block sorry the opc browser great all working fine and now move here and then turn the section on again that's the reset and we can see that the counter value has been set to zero i bring it back to zero and it has started counting once again and you need to count up to 10 and then we can see our output coming on working perfectly now let's try and read the opc tag with a different software or let's say an opc explorer so we use the this opc explorer i click on connect and now i add a group i select it select this section and then click on ok great i now click on this and add the tags okay great i scroll down to the esp and then select it and we have the tags here i need to add all of them to this section quickly okay so with all added we need to verify I select and then click on verify and we can see they are all in good condition okay great and I click on ok and we can see all the tag is showing good and we can see our values also indicating here which means we are able to read the OPC tags with a different software great and now try and then manipulate some of the values of this tags and then we can see this is the first relay is on i switch on the relay command 2 i key in one and then i click on right and then ok and then we can see that relay the next relay has also come on as well great and now change the value of the counter to 5 and then I click on OK and then we can see that it has changed I will now click or change the reset bit to 1 and then we can see the reset value has moved the counter value has moved to 0 and now turn off the reset bit again and then click OK and then we can see that the counter started counting working great okay so it will count up to five and then we can see the relay coming on working perfectly well and now go back and then turn off all the bits to turn off the relays working great so viewers this is how you can give opc capability to your open plc project this works great and there is a lot of projects you can do out of this. Stay blessed and in touch. Bye bye.